Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, the MK Lady. Well, it's MK Monday and I have a whole slew of Michael Kors Salmas here for you. Now, there is, let me take this out. <laughs> there is 10 Salmas. Now, I had probably at one point about 15 Salmas because they are just actually one of my favorite, very favorite Michael Kors. They are sturdy, they're practical, they're convenient, they're everything I want in a satchel. So the reason why I wanted to also show you these is because one of my subscribers had asked me to show the tile blue Salma. So I thought, well, since I'm gonna show the Salma, I might as well bring out all of these babies because most of them are summer colors. So they're all actually stored away inside their dust bags and they're put away for summer. So she wanted to look at that one. So I thought I'll show all of them, but I wanted to show you. Okay. So Friday's unboxing was a little bit of a flop. I'm just trying to look out the window back there because I'm waiting for Canada post. So hopefully they come sooner rather than later. But remember I did the unboxing for this beautiful coach prairie satchel and there is the security tag still on it it's still stuck to it and now i'm not near a bay it's like this is where i ordered it from so i'm like two hours or an hour and a half away but i do have a solution the sports check said that if i bring this bag with my receipts so i have my receipts in here as well as the tag they would take off this little security tag so that is the bag purse of the day which is the coach prairie and i think canada post is here so i'm gonna pause it and then i will be right back so that was a false alarm and he was stuck way over there in the driveway because we had a big huge dump of snow and uh, I haven't left the house in quite a few days with my car. We've been using a truck, so um, hopefully Canada Post can come back soon. I miss Canada Post, but we'll get started. So let's look at the tile blue. Now, you know all the dimensions and everything, and I'm not going to go into everything, but I wanted to show you the lining. Now, the lining has the Michael Kors and it also has this leather stitching, leather kind of border on the slip pockets. Now, it also does have a tag. I don't know if you can see it way back in here. There's a little tag right there. So that is what my Michael Kors tile blue Salma looks like. And this one is in the crosshatch Saffiano leather. So this is what bottom looks like. So this is where I got my Michael Kors and I should have checked the tag before this video because it it is made in China. This one is made in China and you can usually tell from the tag. So one of my first, very first Michael Kors when I first started collecting is the Michael Kors Selma in the color Mandarin. Now, I did notice that this Salma Mandarin and this tile blue, they are both Saffiano leather, but this one is a little more softer and pliable. I'm not sure if that makes sense. And this one is quite, quite a bit older. So as you can see, the Michael Kors lining is a honeycomb and it does have the kind of pockets there with the leather border and let's see so this tag I don't know if you can see way back in there is a white tag and so this one is older like I think I got it six years ago and this one I got maybe three years ago four years ago 
So there is a little bit of a difference in the leather and like the lining is also different. So we'll put those there. This is one of my newest Michael Kors, which I haven't got a Salma since last December. And this is the Salma that I picked up at Las Vegas. And if you want to look at the lining, the Michael Kors is kind of a crosshatch. This is Safiano leather with also the studded hardware in the color pearl gray. Now there is no studs on the back, but it does have one big pocket. This is actually from the outlet in Las Vegas. So, and then this zipper is not metal. So there is a little bit of a difference. And also there is no studs kind of screws there underneath, as you can see. That is what that one looks like and the difference there. So this one is a little bit more bendy as well. And some of them aren't as bendy. I don't know if it's from different factories and let's see. So this tag in here, this one is made in the Philippines. So I can kind of pull out this lining and this one was made in 2019. So there is the tag right there. But with the other Salmas, I can't pull out the lining. So it's kind of weird. They're different. This one I got a few years ago and this is the color Dark Dune. So it's more of a brownie color and it has been gone out of his color scheme for a couple years now and I really wanted it. So I picked up this one at the Calgary Cross Iron Mills outlet store, Cross Iron Mills by Calgary. So you can see this is kind of the same as the Las Vegas one and it does have the crisscross Michael Kors lining, the same as this one. So now we'll get on to the truffle Michael Kors. So this is a newer one I got maybe two or three years ago. And as you can see, the lining has the Michael Kors like name just like that. So he did change the lining and he did put the tags higher. So it is somewhat the same in the tag right in here. I don't know if you can see. And let's see if I can see where this one's made. So there's China, there's Philippines, and this one is made in the Philippines as well. So there's a difference there. Now let me go a little quicker. Those are all crosshatch Michael Kors. So crosshatch leather is the Safiano leather. And this one, and not this one, <laughs> these are bicolor Michael Kors Salmas, actually tricolor, sorry. And so there's the pearl gray, the aluminum, and the white. And this one is Safiano. It also is from the retail. And as you could see right there, oh wait, I forgot my other Michael Kors. I'll grab it in a minute. But this one, and then the pink and uh, what is this fawn? And then this one is not as white. So there's these two. And I'll just quickly show you the studded ones from retail. These ones are all studded all over. And this is a different type of lining. So he changed his lining quite a few times. So it's like kind of just MK all over the place. And let's see what this lining looks like. Yeah, this one is the same time period as that lining as well. So while you look at all of these, I'm gonna go grab my last two Michael Kors salmons. I just left them in my room. we have my Navy Admiral Michael Kors. It's so, so pretty. So we'll take a look at this studded one. And this one, I believe is in the color. Let's grab it right now. This one is in the color cherry. So it's on my shelf right now because it's a dark color and it's studded all over. And 
The lining is the same as these two linings back here with the studded. And I got these all at the same time. And then this one is the same type of lining as well. So this one is the navy. So actually I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 Michael Kors. So there was actually more in this collection, but I actually um, got rid of a few. And I, as you can tell, I really do love my Michael Kors Selma. The only one that might be leaving my collection in the near future might be this pearl gray one because I already have the soft pink. Oh, also I forgot to show you, this one is the second generation Safiano leather. So it looks like a bit, it looks like a bit like pebble leather where this one is first generation and this one is more of a crosshatch leather. So he did change the leathers and then the thickness of leathers because this, Safiano feels really thin, but it feels durable. And then, say one of my newer Michael Kors, where's the truffle? This one feels a little different as well. I don't know how to describe it, but they're all so different and they're all so pretty and I like them a lot. I like my Selmas just like I like my Coach Parker family and my Coach Cassie family. Well, this is the little Salma family that I have going on. And the funny purse of the day, which has the security tag attached to it right after this video, going down to sports check to get this removed. And that's all I have for you today. So, oh, I forgot to tell you about my outfit of the day, which is the Hilberg and Burke earrings. You've seen the animal print shirt and the watch is the beautiful Michael Kors with the darker face and black leggings. So I think that's everything. The unboxing for Friday, I haven't figured that out. I'm actually, you know what? I have figured it out and I'm gonna actually grab it. So I'll let you take a look and I'll be right back. I should have been more prepared. I wasn't ready to do all of this. So it is a Tory Burch. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Angela needs to get it together. It is a Tory Burch and it is, Tory Burch is having a sale and it it is also a clutch. Now, I don't have any clutches in my collection like this. And this one is really different. It is in a really nice kind of beigey color Tory Burch. Some of you probably already know what this is. So this is Friday at 7 p.m. We'll put that down. So I think that's all I have for today. Purse of the day, the security tag Coach Prairie, satchel in the color black. Please give this video a like because you know it helps in the YouTube algorithms, helps my channel. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video, you will get notified. Have a great day. Bye.